welcome back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all for subscribing to stylish ninja youtube channel thank you for your love and for your support if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe and please hit on the like button of this video please i would appreciate it just take a pause and then like the video just to to like this is like a way of giving back to me for the video just like the video that's all you have to do and then you continue watching okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a female and trouser that's a, a, a lady's trouser a lady's pants it's a very detailed video so okay the first thing i'm going to be implicating the lines now and the first thing i'm going to do is the length the full length of the trouser of this pants so i'm using two inches for my band so i'm just going to take the two inches up like this and then the full length of my trouser is um 40 inches so i'm going to measure my 40 inches like this and then i'll add two inches to hem it so that's the first line here so my 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 tape is going to be placed like this and then the crouch um my hip line i'm going to make use of eight inches for my hip line you could use it's 8.5 so I, i'm just going to use 8.5 like this And then my crouch and depth. So in, in measuring out your crouch, you just sit on a flat surface and then measure. So this is my crouch line. And then the next line that I'm going to measure now, that I'm going to input here is the is my knee line. So I'm going to make use of 19 inches on my knee line. That's like my ties. That's from this point like this. So this is it. So the first thing I'm going to do now, so I used uh, my uh, hip measurement. That's what I used to fold it and added uh, 5 inches to it. So I have 15, my fabric is folded at 15 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to this and top point. I'm going to measure out a uh, 1 inch. So this is just like mm, standard, like my own standards really. So I'm going to measure 1 inch from this point like this because I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to curve out the shape of my trouser and then i'll come to my knee point like this i'll measure 1.5 inches so i'm going to connect this line to this line and so i'm just going to come like this to the to the end of my hip line i'm just going to do this so you see i'm not removing anything from the hip line point and then i'm going to like you see what i'm doing i slanted it to this point just like your curve when you're making your skater and then for the down part, depends on how and the type of cut you actually want. So for this down part, you could decide to use between 1.5 inches and 2 inches. So now I'm just going to use my straight ruler to connect it together. Like I want it to be straight. So like this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to impute my measurement. And in imputing my measurement, I'm, I'm going to make um, some explanations to you. For your waistline, you divide your waist measurement by 4 and then you divide your hip measurement because this is my hip line and then this is our crouch line this is the waist line, we're using the waist for the top because we're going to be adding a band and then this is the knee point so on this hip line, we divide our hip measurement by 4 and then you add between 1.5 to 2 inches for your crouch line, this is where you are going to be imputing your lap measurement. That you measure the top of your lap, that's this full part of your lap. You divide the measurement into two. You don't divide the lap measurement, don't divide into four. You divide into two. So, and then you add like two inches allowance or 1.5. And then the knee measurement depends on how, if you want a fitted and trouser. So you divide the knee measurement also into two. So this one is divided into two, these two. And then these two, they are divided into four. And then the down measurement also, you divide into two. So now I'm just going to start imputing them now. So for my waist measurement, I'm using eight inches, which is at 32, divided by four. So I'm going to start measuring from this point. So you see, I'm measuring backward like this. I'm not measuring from this side. So from my line, I'm going to measure eight inches. So this is my eight inches. So I'll use 1.5 inches as my allowance. So this is my 1.5 inches. So I'll come to my hip line. My hip and measurement is 40 inches. So I'm going to measure 10 inches like this for the 40 inches. And then I'll add 2 inches allowance to this. 
So for my lap and measurements, the lap measurement that I'm making use of is, is 12 inches, 24. So this is my 12 inches and then I'll add 2 inches as my allowance. So these are my lines now. So these are my lines like this and then like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, in order not to confuse you, I'm just going to, to mark them like this. So I'm just going to curve it out. So you see the three lines. These are the original ones and then these are the other ones. So I'm just going to mark them out like this. So we have our crouch already. So the next thing I'm going to do now, from those points now, I'm going to measure my knee measurement. So like I said, the knee depends on you and what you actually want. So for the knee, like I said, I used 11 inches. So for this crouch and, and allowance, I'm going to use 2.5 instead of 2 inches. So I'm going to make use of 2.5. So you, but you could use 2 inches if you want to. If you want it um, to be very fitted down there. So I have my knee measurements now. So the next thing, I'm going to come to this and down part. So I'm going to use 13 inches, which is um, 6.5. So this is 6.5. So I'm going to add um, my allowance to it. So I'm just going to add another 2 inches allowance. So from this um, midpoint, in order for me to shape out my trouser properly, I'm going to use um, 9 inches for this point. So I'm going to measure this point. What I have here, I have 8.5 here. So I'm just going to increase it by 1 inches. 1 inch rather from this point. So the essence is just for me to, to get out a good curve. So I'm just going to try and, and blend all of them together like this. In order for me to have for my the shape of my trouser to come out and properly. So from this point, I'm just going to come like this and from the crouch point like this. And then I'm going to, to blend this. So guys, you can see what I have. So this is just as simple as possible in cutting out your, your trousers. So this is the front part. So I'm just going to rule them all properly with my ruler now. So guys, you can see how simple and easy this is. So this is the front of our trousers. So I'm going to cut it out now and then we'll use this piece to cut out the back. It's really simple and easy making your female pants. So this is it. So I'll fold the other piece together. Okay, so I have um, the back and piece folded into two again, just like we did with the front piece. So I've placed, I've placed the front one on top of the back. So I'm just going to do some um, adjustment to it. So I just want you to watch carefully. So from this point, I'm going to be slanting and doing my waist and slant. The essence of this waist and slant is for to enable this tummy to sit and properly. So you could use between 1.5 to 1 inch for somebody that does not have a big tummy. But somebody that has big tummy, use 1.5. So I'm just going to mark it from this point like this. And then I'm going to slant it. I'm just going to slant it like this. So I'll cut it out first before we continue. So I have that out. So the next thing I'm going to do now, from this point, remember because of the one inch that we that I took out, I'm going to add it um, back on top for the back, like this. So I'm going to add it. So from this point now, we're just going to slant to this point. So this is what I'm going to do now. So now you're going to extend your crouch and um, parts like this but we're still going to measure so we're going to make use of you could make and um, between you uh, make use of between two inches or 1.5 for your crouch and um, measurement so that's to extend the back crouch like this so i'm making use of two inches so i'm just going to come like this so i'll use my curve i want to get it out perfectly well so i'm going to curve it now from this point now i'll curve it to this point back like this so from the down part, I'm going to add one inch to the down part. That's for the back, for the back hole. I'm going to add one inch. So you could use half an inch. You could use two inch. So it depends on how fitted you actually want your pants and trousers to be. So from this point like this, I'm just going to make use of um, one inch like this. I'll make use of one inch. So I'm just going to move this piece now. So I have this 
point already laid out so i'm just going to move this to the one inch in order for me to get out my shape to get out the shape properly so from the one inch point i'm just um taking it like this and then i'll now shift it back or shift it back and then connect it to this point so this down the up part is two inches and then as i'm coming down i'm reducing it to one inch like this so you could use half an inch like i said depends on how how fitted you want your pants to be and then because of the back that so you the waistline of the back i'm going to increase it i'm just going to add one inch to it like this so i'll, I'll cover at this point like this now so i just added one inch to it even though i'm doing freehand <laughs> i just added one inch to it like this the, the one inch is just because if you want to add that to the back but if you don't want to put that if it is a stretchy and fabric you don't need to do this so i just blend it up to the hip points like this and then i'm going to cut out so guys the essence of adding this and uh, one inch allowance to the back is because uh, you don't the back of the trouser of the pants is always higher than the front so that's just the essence of adding this extra one inch to it so so this side we are going to cut it out straight we're not adding any allowance on the hip part the only part that we're adding the allowance to is the up part which is one inch the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to insert and just put a notch here for the dart so i'm just going to measure from this point that for, for the back and part if you want to put add a dart to the front you could decide to do that but i chose not to do it on this um trouser because i'm going to be adding a zipper to the side so but because of the allowance that i have on it so i you necessarily don't need um extra zipper allowance for for this but you could decide to do it if you want to so i put the notch for the back that so the next thing i'm going to do before i start stitching i'll cut out a band so you use your waist um measurement to cut out a band and the band you make sure it's your um your measurement and then you add about and two inches extra allowance so mine is 32 so i'm going to be cutting out a band of 34 inches and then you remember i used actually used on two inches initially when we were taking the full measurement so i cut out a band of about two 2.5 that's two and a half inches so the half inch i'm going to use to stitch and then it's on fold so when you open up it's about and five inches so the next thing i'm just going to go over to the machine and then we'll start stitching so i'll show you how we're going to do that okay guys so um we're going to start stitching now so the first thing we're going to do we're going to join the, on the crouch the two crouch that's the back crouch and then the front front crouch so that's the first thing we're going to do so we're going to join it first okay so um i finished joining and joining the crouch so i'm just stitching the that that's for the back that now so this is the back and then this is the front so guys you can see our trousers are almost done so we're just going to take it like this now and place them together so the next thing i'm going to take on the front crouch and then the back crouch from the under i'm going to place them make sure you place them together so i'm going to stitch to this side and then stitch to this side so you can decide to start it from straight down but it's also no it's better for you to put it from here and then stitch down and then stitch the other side so i'm going to do that now so i'm just going to start from the center together like this okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do now you see our trousers we're almost done so the next thing i'm going to do now you are going to choose where i'm going to insert the zipper if it's the right side or the left side so you could decide to choose anywhere so before before then i'm going to seal it up and then before i open the side and then fix the zipper so before then i'm going to take my final measurement i'll measure the waist and measurement which i'm going to divide by two so this is the center of the back so i'm going to start measuring it what i want for this back is actually 16 inches which is 32 so i'm just going to mark it like this i'll stitch one side first before i go back to the other side and then for the the hip measurement which is 40 so i'm just going to put my tape here 
I'm using 10, uh, 20 inches. So this is the measurement here for the hip. So for the, the tie uh, measurement, so I'm just going to come down below the crouch and point. And then I'm going to measure the, 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 the tie uh, measurement. And then I'll come to the knee point also and then measure the knee measurement. So with all this measurement now on one side, I'm going to stitch it. So I'm just going to stitch it down. And then when I come to the down part, that's the, the round arm, sorry, the round and leg and measurement. I'm going to use the measurement that I want, which is 13. I'll divide it into two. So I'll measure, I'm going to use it to stitch this part. So I'm just going to follow my lines and then stitch it all out and then do the other the same thing to the other side so i'm just going to hold it like this because you know the back is bigger so i'm just going to hold them into place making sure that they are the same like this and then before you start stitching so i'm going to do the same thing to this um other side now so i'm just going to measure it and repeat and the whole and measurement all over again so we are done joining it so the next thing i am going to do now before we fix our zipper we are going to fix attach the band so i am just going to open it like this so i will start fixing my um, band now from this point just the way we fix our our skirt and zipper uh, sorry our skirt and band ok guys so you could see so i finished and stitching up on my band so the next thing that i did was i used that uh, i just uh, opened up the zipper allowance and point and then ironed it down so to the point where i want to fix we are going to be fixing the zipper so i've ironed it and then top stitch on this point so it doesn't uh, open so you just cut out the the rope so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to be fixing the zip so i'll bring this together like this you see what i'm doing so you see that the zip is covering so i'm using the tooth and side of the fabric to cover it up So at the end of the day you make sure that there's the band on top like this both of them are they are sitting on the same point so one don't need to be up and the other one down so i'm going to tuck this one in also from this point so you remember i i stitched it initially so i'll just um, open it up and then tuck it in and then tuck it and then come back and then i'll hem the down part of my my trouser and then come back and show you the full the complete um trouser okay guys so i'm so done with the trouser the pants like some people call it pants pants trouser so i'm so done with it so you could see it really came out so well and beautifully well so you could see let me just show you the back so this is the back so this is the side and zipper that was added so you could see how comfortable it is so guys i'm so happy it came out really fine and well so if you find this um, video helpful so you can crouch it came out perfectly well if you find it helpful do not hesitate to um just drop a comment for me on the comment section i'll be so happy for you to comment yeah and then you could share this video with your friends with your loved ones so if you have not subscribed already subscribe like the video share the video I'm just going to dance with you. <laughs>